All right, so let's get ready to make a batch of buckyball oil, Yensid style. It's my own recipe. Um, we're gonna start out. We've got a almost a full liter of uh, olive oil here. I mean avocado oil. You can see the level both in there. There's our thousand milliliter stir. There's our diamond scale measures single milligram weights. There's our C60 95.5. Couldn't afford the 99.9. That's the next batch. The lid, and we'll just go from there. And our little magnetic pill. Alrighty, so start out by pouring in our avocado oil. I'll pass on taking the plug out. Maybe I won't. It's taking way too long. All right, we're going to try this again. As you can see now, little plugs out. It'll pour a little faster if I don't drop it. Bring this in a little closer. So that's what it starts out like, and when it's done, it's going to be nice and purple. So there's probably quite a bit more we can drip out of that. Let's set this aside for the moment. Let's bring our scale in. And... Turn it on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and weigh it out and then I'll zoom in on it so you guys can see it. I'm going to weigh out 700 milligrams instead of 750 because I had a few dust particles last time or floaties particles that didn't seem to all the way dissolve but we'll see. Six grams, I mean 160 milligrams, 200 milligrams, three hundred and thirty, four hundred milligrams. Five hundred milligrams, five seventy five, six oh nine, seven hundred and eleven. Close enough. So let's why won't this thing focus? Doesn't make any sense. There we go. Oh now it turned off. Oh well. Anyway, okay, let's pretend the scale said 750 700 milligrams. Alright, so the tricky part comes in is when you go to pour it in. It's kind of real simple. You just kind of dump it. And you end up with a few little specks on your finger, maybe. And as you can see, that just sinks down to the bottom real nicely. We got a little trail of dust following it down 
and then we drop in the pill. All right, so I'm going to shut it down here and set up in the room where the mixing machine is, and we'll start the mixing process. Okay, so what we have here is we've got, I got an 85.2, it's made in China, I'm sure. Constant temperature magnetic stir, it's got a digital temperature area. There's your speed adjust. My motor's a little wimpy, so, oh, you can see in the thing here, the, I don't know if you can see it closely here, but we have some particles sticking to the magnet. Don't know if that's going to show on the camera, but uh, sticking to it because they're slightly magnetic. Okay, so essentially the way it works, we got the magnetic pill in here. That rod sticking down is the temperature gauge. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and set her up here. Actually, let's do it the other way. Let me go on the other side. And put the lid on first. And it's pretty cool because it actually screws on mostly. There we go. And we take the rod, set it inside. And we set it up here like this. And away we go. And you want to get it centered on the plate. And then I am going to pull this mostly out for the moment, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's to adjust the speed. There we go. You want to try to get a whirlpool forming as you do it. So let's turn it on. And boom. Oh, come on, you can focus. Oh, why won't you focus? Now, in theory, you want to try to get it to where it forms a whirlpool at the top and then drop it just below that. And that's maxed out there, so... Don't know how well it's showing, but it's vigorously stirring and my cat is walking all over the place in here. Okay, so... That seems to be going pretty good. As you notice, when we drop the temperature probe in, it will lag... considerably. It's not touching the back. Now I set the temperature for about 28 centigrade, which is about 75-80. And the uh, reason I set it for that now is that's pretty much what the temperature gets inside the house sometimes. And figure it's a little bit warmer oil, it might mix a little bit better. Because the, uh, the buckyballs, of course, vibrate more when the higher temperatures. So we'll see how things go. And uh, you start at stern like that, put a little bit of darkness around it. I'll give you an idea of what I'm doing, what I do, how I do that here. Turn it off for a moment. And I have a box I slide it into. Except for the cord hanging, sticking in the back. There we go. And that hides the light from the outside window. And then I'll put a 
a piece on this side once we get it all shut up and closed. And if you want to, we'll move the camera around so you can see. And then essentially, in about two days, it's going to start turning purple. And once it starts doing that, you mix it for two weeks and it should be good to go. So we'll check back then. All right. This is the Perkster with the Ensid signing out. Okay, so what's your name and some other people been asking about uh, how you mix the carbon 60 and stuff. So I thought I would un open up my box and show you guys. Got the handheld. I'll try to talk a little louder this time. But they were asking about the color. As you can see, this has been mixing about a week. And uh, if we zoom in real close, you can't, of course, you can't see anything. So we're going to bring in the flashlight here. Now, we get in here close. If we do it right, you should be able to see the impeller in the bottom spinning. There it is. Let me try, try this again. There we go. And as you can see, everybody asks about the purple color. That's what light looks like shining through it. And if we get in really close, we might be able to see a few particles still floating. I can't see it on the screen, but you guys might be able to a little later. And of course there's our temperature sensor. And 28.5 degrees centigrade, which is about 80 degrees. And the speed is cranked just about all the way up. I need a new machine. Do a little bit more. The light action here. Try down here on the bottom and see. Now, of course, it's spinning a lot faster than that. You're seeing the, uh, probably the beat frequency of the 30 frames a second. But uh, that'll give you an idea. Okay, so that's about it. And uh, this will be done mixing in about another week. It's Friday, so yeah, by Tuesday. We'll see. Two weeks. Take care. You it out. Okay, we got batch oil done. And everybody's curious about why they call it, why uh, one of the guys, Ken, calls his stuff uh, C60 Purple Power. So, anyway, I'm going to peel off the lid here. This is a top of a jar. Got a little hole in it. You can see there, it's got a little teeny bit of oil because I dripped on it, but you can see a little hole cut through it. That's for the temperature probe to go in. The cover is to keep the dust out while it's stirring. So we're going to get a little spoonful of this. And this is regular green olive oil. But as you can see, it's got a nice purple tint to it. It's kind of hard to see because the lighting is not real natural. Let's put a little bit more in. Probably can see it a little bit better on the blue spoon and the silver spoon here. Let's try that. and it stays suspended. So anyway, that's what it looks like when it's all done. And the idea is you come in here, and the first thing you do is, I learned this the hard way last time, take out your magnetic stirrer. And this spoon is not metal, the right kind of metal. Interesting. All righty. See, <laughs> if you get the right kind of metal, 
it sticks and you want to definitely get the little stir pill out so that uh, it doesn't fall inside the bottle of avocado oil when you pour it back in okay that's it for now I won't show you the pouring back in now I'm gonna get ready to mix another batch and uh, we'll pick it back up from there It's the tail end of pouring this back in. And what I wanted to show you was that when we're all done, we should be able to see that there is zero, almost zero residue in the bottom, which is good, which means it all mixed up. Now, we probably got about a 7.7 7 milligrams per milliliter on this. And we'll go from there. It's only five, 600 milliliters because Sam and I have been taking the first 400 as it mixed. So we got some when it wasn't completely mixed. All right, so I'll start a new batch here in a few minutes after I wipe the uh, jar out. 